Ninja Theory has spent the better part of six years crafting their sequel to the award-winning Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice, a game that literally ushered in the Xbox generation and a promise to bring cutting-edge visuals, Unreal Engine 5 technology, and for the first time, a mature story-driven game from Xbox Game Studios. The question is, is Senua's Saga Hellblade 2 worth the wait? Senua's Saga Hellblade 2 is one of the most anticipated titles for Xbox, and the team behind the creation, Ninja Theory, has a remarkable pedigree of creating incredible story-based characters and fantastic combat. But can their latest deliver on what fans love from the first Hellblade game and evolve the sequel into something hard-hitting and memorable? Story Senua's Saga Hellblade 2 takes place across the ancient landscape of Iceland with cutting-edge visuals and lifelike realism that captures the essence and the spirit of this northern island with Norse mythology leading the tone, lore, and motivation behind Senua's pilgrimage and inner battle with her demons and worst of all, her mind. The story is told very well with headphones on which is recommended by Ninja Theory to get the entire experience of being inside Senua's mind and talking to characters she will encounter that will either help or hinder her as she makes her way through Iceland. Knowing that she is on a pilgrimage to find the truth and to find a resolution with her dealings with death in this world and her internal struggles. The story is told quite well through dialogue, visual presentation, and dark demonic voices that speak from the havens. Saying any more than that would do a disservice to anyone who wants to experience the story from the very beginning and see it through to the end. There will be a lot of exposition that happens with one or two characters or with Senua's mind with the incredible stereoscopic 3D Dolby Atmos surround system which actually recorded the voice actors around a microphone array which creates swirling and passing voices. On the left, you get her optimistic internal conscience. On the right, you get a more pessimistic and grating truth that will help you feel the push and pull of Senua's conflict. Walking through varied areas along the chapters that make up the story campaign will show you some incredible, beautiful vistas and take you inside some truly remarkable, visually striking caves and interior locations. Gameplay You will walk through and over and around many different locations across Iceland as you progress through the story and to break up exposition and story-based marks, there is some light puzzles that return from the first game. One of them, aligning runes and hearing the historic storytelling behind them returns, but these are less frequent than the first game, and Ninja Theory has added in a couple of different puzzle mechanics that are way more enjoyable and flesh out the feeling of Senua breaking through her internal madness. Some of these are quite creative and also reward you with a visual splendor as she dips in and out of reality and into other dimensions. But everyone wants to know about the combat, and in the first game, it was basically slash, parry, slash. And in Senua Saga Hellblade 2, we get a more punchy and visceral combat system that showcases the actual fight training that she took that was implemented in from the development of Hellblade 2. Fights are more personal and more hectic with a varied system of pushes, pulls, body checks, rolling and dodging, and enemies that are far more varied, which you'll see a short glimpse of here to not spoil the surprise, and enemy attacks are more varied with a new mechanic that allows you to reward yourself for timing up your parries and dodges against enemies that can be much more brutal. Upfront and close personal kills are menacing and teeth gritting, and as it all plays out with a rotating and moving camera, it feels like you're in the fight and you forget at times you're actually controlling all of this because it looks so cinematic, it could look like a cutscene to anyone else watching. It's very, very impressive. Combat will also kick off in surprising moments when you least expect it, and it creates a tension that persists throughout your playtime as the game has great pacing from slow times to frenetic combat situations and high tension moments with impending doom. Not much of the combat will evolve midway through the game, but each fight feels more personal and you'll learn to appreciate what you learn and how to dispatch enemies when Senua gets surrounded.
yes, for the most part, you will fight one enemy at a time, but the game chains together attacks and ambushes so expertly with the use of cinematic camera turns and Senua feeling like the fight is over when another enemy comes bearing down. There are a couple of things I would have liked to see with the combat to make in addition and add more variety, but the scope of the entire campaign, it feels great, and watching back the clips of things I did in the game for combat was very satisfying. Presentation The visuals for Senua's Saga Hellblade 2 are possible only from the craft from Ninja Theory and Unreal Engine 5, using meta-human technology that recreates lifelike characters and strikingly authentic landscapes that are so overloaded with fine details that look so incredible and are up to scrutiny so close in photo mode, it's hard to believe that this is all in a game. The vast landscapes and varied locations that you will traverse in Hellblade showcase the Unreal Engine 5 nanites and lumen technology that creates millions and millions of polygons, making it possible for the tiniest of rocks and details to create a level of realism rendered in real time. The metahuman technology, which captures facial animations in real time, allows Senua and other characters to interact so realistically and to capture an emotional performance that is fully believable in emotion and up to the macroscopic examination beyond what video games have ever accomplished. The Lumen part of Unreal Engine 5, which uses global illumination and lifelike lighting and shadows, is one of the reasons that this game only runs at 30 FPS on Xbox Series X. The lighting is so impressive that it actually looks like you're watching a real filmed movie in every single chapter. I couldn't see any evidence of real-time ray tracing reflections, which are so demanding on hardware that it would be the main reason that the Xbox Series X does not run this game at 60 FPS. So I would expect in a year or so, Ninja Theory might be able to make some concessions and get this game running with a 60 FPS performance mode. Of course, if you have a capable PC, you can play Senua's Saga Hellblade 2 at this fidelity to the PC version running at ultra settings at 60 FPS, which I did for a short time during my review. Here you can see what the game looks like running at 60 on a $3,000 PC compared to what you'd get for $500 on the Xbox Series X. But there is a nuanced discussion that needs to be had that Ninja Theory created such a level of immersion and realism, emulating the cinematography, bokeh depth of field, lens breathing, and every cinematic trick in the book to create a video game that truly looks like a film in action. Once I went to try the game at full fidelity on PC, it suddenly appeared like I was playing a video game with True Motion Plus on, which isn't actually desirable. If you have a capable PC, I would recommend playing this game however you want, but Ninja Theory actually defaults your high settings on PC starting at 30 FPS. Going back to the Xbox Series X at this visual quality at 30 FPS, and it came back to getting the full top to bottom experience of playing a cinema movie. It's always a joke that cinematic is a choice for 30 FPS, but there's something special about the way Hellblade 2 looks on Xbox at this fidelity, and I would expect that some experts might actually recommend to try the game out at 30 FPS to get that experience. Normally, I would always tell people to play a game at 60, and I always choose to play at higher frame rates for video games, but this is the first game in my entire life that has actually recreated a cinematic experience that no other game look and feels like. Replayability. There is only a single player campaign that is made up of several chapters and along the way you can find some collectible discoveries that you may have missed in your first playthrough that will give you more historic background and tell more of the story as you go through foggy, decrepit forests and inside chilling caves. The replaying of a game a second or third time might give you an opportunity to retain more of the story and get into the thoughts and fears that plague Senua along her way. But there is a replayability function at the end of the game for those that want to experience it in a slightly different way. But one full playthrough of seven to eight hours will give you a very memorable experience that you may see revisiting chapters and playing selected sections of the game. 
Senua's Saga Hellblade 2 has been a long time coming, and the team at Ninja Theory really worked hard to create and craft an immersive experience that I don't think we've ever seen in the entire existence of the video game medium. The level of detail and quality of visuals, the cinematic recreation of actual film cameras, lenses and lighting and camera work, and the visual performance capture that has exceeded every other video game I've ever seen. This visual presentation that has never been done before finally arrived on the Xbox platform and PC. The immersive audio and visual experience with headphones on the emotional impact you'll feel from being behind Senua's pilgrimage across a haunting and desperate journey in a land that none of us would ever want to experience in a time that was so wrought with peril, despair, and death. Senua is a tortured beacon of light in a groundbreaking game that will put players in a place they've never experienced before with a level, quality, detail, and realism that has not been done until now. For Ninja Theory, creating a double-A game with this much quality and production value and to make it so impactful that playing through the journey is worth your time as a fan of video games and to push forward for the medium. I give Senua Saga Hellblade 2 an 8.5 out of 10. This is Cole Eastwood. Thank you so much for checking out this review. I really enjoyed Hellblade and I think it's probably one of the best looking video games I've ever seen. And it's probably going to set the gold standard of how games will look on brand new engines like Unreal Engine 5 and things moving forward for this coming generation and what we actually have coming for this generation we're in right now. Now, I said something controversial about playing the game on Xbox Series X even though it's 30 FPS, and I did play a bunch on PC, but I think there really is something to say about the presentation where they completely fully emulated the look and feel of cameras and lens and all that stuff, and you have to see it to understand what I mean. And of course, the PC version is such a premier way to play the game, and it feels so smooth and fluid, but the whole experience of feeling like you're in a movie is something I've never seen before, and I'll always tell people to play at 60 FPS and always choose performance first, but this has been one of the new experience for me. I actually expect some experts to actually recommend to play the game at 30, and even Ninja Theory themselves defaulted the high PC settings at 30 FPS. I think they want you to experience the game this way, but they also want people, if you have the power and you have the hardware, to play it any way you want, and I also think the high performance mode is absolutely fantastic. If you ended up enjoying this review and you want to see more reviews like this on the channel, you can do that by hitting the join button below, or you can hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comment section if you want to see more video game reviews and hear more about games as they come out, and if you should get into them, play them, or buy them. Also, if you want to support the channel by hitting that join button, that will get you early access for videos, monthly merch giveaways, and so much more. Also, we're doing giveaways for the Hellblade 2 coins from Xbox Fan Art. These things are absolutely fantastic, made by Ben Kenobi of Twitter. That's very, very cool. You can also check out the Ecstasy Podcast. We run this show every Monday, live at 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern, and there, Middle Age Game Guy and I will talk about the news. We'll talk more next week about Hellblade 2 and where Xbox is going with first party and get excited for the big showcase and what we call the E3 season is coming up. So I'm really excited for that. But I want to know what you think about Hellblade 2 from this presentation and this review. What do you think about the game? I gave it an 85 out of 100. I expect Metacritic to sit somewhere around the low to mid 80s. Maybe a little bit higher if critics actually really got into the whole vibe of the game. I'm really curious to see how that all irons out. It'll be all official by the time you're watching this video. Thank you for all your support. I want to know what you think about Hellblade in the comment section. And while you do that, please remember, be nice.